Beth and I are here. We're going to get a great resistance strength training lunchtime workout that doesn't take much time at all. Perfect. And it's five separate exercises on this very unique piece. This is called the motion cage. And only at the fitness mill will you see the motion cage. And there's so much you can do on this. Yeah, you you're ready? a super buff. And somebody yeah. like me who's not super buff do this? Absolutely. Okay. We're going to do it right now. So we're going to come over to our nice squat and press bar. Okay. Okay, so what you do is you lift that bar. This way? Yep. And you got it with those hands. Put your hands like this, but okay. Up a little forward. Okay. Now what you do is you squat on one shoulder with the bar. Bring it around to the other. Boom. How's that feel? Around to the other shoulder. So you can adjust the weight on this, right? You can adjust the weight. I have a 25 pound weight on this one. Which is a lot of weight. She's doing great. He's adjusting it for Alex's weight. <laughs> for that weight. So you'll do this for about a minute. And then once the minute's over, you can set that down. Okay. Let's imagine that the minute was minute's over. Minute's up. And we're going to come over to the TRX straps that we have okay. uh, attached to the emotion. And we're going to do enough. an inverted row. Alright. And this is going to work right back. Alex lays straight down. I don't see that. The beauty of TRX is the degree of your body angle is going to determine your resistance. So as Beth increases her body angle, the, the, the uh, uh, resistance is going to increase. So you see how deep she's getting now? She's getting a real deep pull in on her back, and her lats, and then up, up on her traps. Again, like really simple, surprisingly hard. Very simple. Again, a minute at a time. One minute interval, take 30 seconds off. And after your 30 seconds, we come over to a step up, a weighted okay. step up. So we have some dumbbells here for Beth. And she's going to do a weighted step up and switch legs as she's doing. So you did your right, now you do your left. That's perfect. Very good form. You want to remember, keep your back straight, exactly what Beth's doing. It's great. So I imagine I do that for a minute, right? One minute, then you take a 30 second break. Now, on one, you're right down on your backside. Tuck your feet right under the, uh, the trampoline. And what you'll do is you'll just straight arm, bring your arm all the way back as you do a full set up. Bring it up and bounce it right off the trampoline. There you go. There you go, and that's a great ab workout. It also works your arms and shoulders. So again, another minute interval, 30 seconds over. Okay, let's imagine that was a minute. One more station. We're gonna go over and work our triceps and our, our shoulders. Get ourselves on our uh, uh, dip, dip machine. In the interest of full disclosure, I should tell you that initially, I was supposed to lift my body weight. We'll bring here to the end. So this is modified, which is great. You should be modified this for somebody who isn't as strong. Good motion. Just bring your body right down and you continue to do reps exactly what Beth is doing. And uh, she'll get a great workout. It works a lot of different areas. It's not just your, your triceps, it's your shoulders, it's your lats. It has a lot of good, good key functions. So you would do this one rep at a time in each station with a rest in between each station? Yep. So like 30 seconds a minute, 30 second rest a minute, 30 yep. second rest a minute? Go around four or five times whatever you feel is necessary. I'd, like, I'd normally do five or four is fine. Yeah. It's a great quick lunch yeah. workout. And you're doing your whole body? Yeah, entire body. Awesome. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome.